would be brought to a higher degree of readiness. I'm not going to read all these articles. We're just going to read you the um, the headlines. This is coming in from RT Television. Russia orders snap inspection of troops readiness for rapid deployment. A series of drills has been initiated amid freezing temperatures. Troops in the Russian Far East have begun winter inspections, according to a statement by the country's Ministry of Defense, as Moscow holds talks with NATO about de-escalating tensions. Officials announced on Friday that forces stationed in the Eastern Military District, which covers a vast swath of land from Siberia to, <coughs> excuse me, to the Sea of Japan, were undertaking inspections and exercises intended to ensure their military readiness. So let's keep on going. Russian submarine with 160 nukes on board surfaces off the U.S. coast. Russian nuclear submarine of the... So let's keep on going. Russian submarine with 160 nukes on board surfaces off the U.S. coast. Russian nuclear submarine of the Boreal Project, which carries 16 Bulova ballistic missiles on board, unexpectedly appeared off the coast of the United States, having caused serious concerns in Washington. Each of these missiles on board surfaces off the U.S. coast. Russian nuclear submarine of the Boreal Project, which carries 16 Bulova ballistic missiles on board, unexpectedly appeared off the coast of the United States, having caused serious concerns in Washington. Each of these missiles in service with the submarine is capable of carrying up to 10 nuclear warheads. This created an extremely serious danger for the United States, given that the U.S. military has been not able to track the Russian nuclear submarine. According to NetEast Publications, Russian nuclear submarine of the Boreal class, according to other sources, it was an Akula project submarine approached the United States coastline unnoticed. It was possible to establish the whereabouts of the nuclear submarine with up to 160 nuclear warheads on board after the sub started going back to the base. A submarine of this class is capable of destroying most of the territory of the United States of America after the sub started going back to the base. A submarine of this class is capable of destroying most of the territory of the United States of America in just minutes. So one Russian sub, folks, can pretty much decimate our whole country with nuclear missiles.